issues to talk about tonight. I'm Dan Haggerty. We're closing out the week with a big show here. All the ways to communicate with us at the bottom of your screen. So use that hashtag HeyDan on Twitter. You can reach out to us on email at the story at KGW.com. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Meanwhile, let's talk about what happened today. So Portland police shot and killed a man this morning. We, we really don't know a ton of details, okay, about exactly what happened. I'm sure you know that as much as I do, really, at this point. It's all over the news. I can't tell you how people are going to react, you know, over this weekend. I, I don't know. I, I know that some people were tearing down crime tape at the scene earlier today. It got a little bit contentious. I know people have started to gather where it happened. Some of those people were getting aggressive. At one point, they lit a fire in a dumpster. I don't think that you should be that shocked by this type of reaction. I can tell you that this death, that what happened this morning, involves so many things that we've been talking about on this show over the past few weeks. I wanna start, let's start talking about it just kind of on, on what we know so far, as far as what police has told us, because that's where the majority of the information is coming right now. Apparently they got called to Lentz Park because of a man pointing a gun early this morning, like 9.30 in the morning. When officers got there, they shot the guy, once with a non-lethal round and again with a gun and he's dead. That's all we know. Really, it's about all we know. There's some other details, but that's the main stuff. The police didn't go too deep into kind of what happened today. I do know some things though. For instance, this happened in Lentz. Lentz is one of the neighborhoods the city is trying to give some special attention to. This is an area that has seen a spike in gun crimes directly. I mean, these are the families that don't just hear about this on the news, they hear it outside. It's a community where one in four families are poor. They live in poverty. It's one of our more diverse communities. 60% white, 15% Hispanic, 15% Asian, 6% black. The shooting happened in a park, right? And according to the city's new $6 million plan, park rangers will soon be dispatched around to city parks to help to tamper down gun crimes. Now, they weren't involved in this today. There were no rangers out there in that park when this happened, but I'm pretty curious to know what they would have done if they would have been there. And most glaringly to me, this happened in the one neighborhood where the street response team is answering calls, the pilot program, right? The new unarmed team of EMTs and crisis counselors who are supposed to respond to people in crisis. This is the team that's supposed to go in when someone is having a mental break, as it appears may have been the case today with this man, instead of a police officer with a gun. And I think a lot of people were wondering why they weren't called in today. So we asked police and the answer was pretty simple. Based on what I know of the call for service that we received, this would not have fit within the protocols to dispatch them. This, this would not have been one of their calls. They don't respond to calls where it's reported that someone has a weapon. Now on the topic of this team, it brings us to a story that we think is worth your time. See, Willamette Week, they reported that the street response team is getting off to a very slow start because dispatchers aren't calling them. They're not sending them on things. The report says this, in Eugene, a similar program called Cahoots responds to about 20% of calls dispatched by 911. In Portland, the number is far less than 1%. Granted, this is just a pilot program, keep that in mind. But the story also says that the team is equipped to handle between 6 and 12 calls during a, an 8-hour shift, 5 days a week. And they have only been called out a total of 7 times in the first 2 weeks of April. Now, while the situation in Lentz, again, would not have involved the street response team, still a lot of questions about what they have been doing in that neighborhood. As far as the man who was killed by police this morning and how the community will react and continue to react tonight, tomorrow, over the weekend, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So stay with KGW tonight and over this weekend for the latest.